As we celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we share the story of a champion marathon runner who broke records and barriers. CBS 2 Cindy Shu has her story. Running one marathon is hard enough, but imagine winning two New York City marathons and two Boston marathons. Mickey Gorman is the only woman who has achieved that. Mickey, how do you feel? That seems to be the question of the day. I feel great, super. And how does it feel being in New York City and winning again for the second year? Oh, I'm just so happy. No, there's no words. I'm just happy. Mickey grew up in Japan until coming to the U.S. in 1964. She didn't start running until her 30s when her husband encouraged her to work out. Mickey's daughter, Danielle. My dad wanted her to get into the gym, get a little bit more active. In 1976, at 41 years old, Mickey won the New York City Marathon, then came out on top again the next year. Mickey, your stature, you're about 5'1", I'd say maybe you're 90 pounds. Physically, how, how do you endure this? Well, many people ask me how I can run because I'm so small and looks fragile. But for long distance, you don't have to have, have the big uh, body. I talked with George Hirsch, chairman of the board of New York Roadrunners, who ran with Mickey. Just a dominant force in running, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best in the world. George last saw her in 2012 when she was inducted into the New York Roadrunners Hall of Fame. As an Asian American woman in a sport that was overwhelmingly white and male, she broke down barriers in so many ways. I'm sure she was faced with a lot of discrimination. She wouldn't hold on to that. I think she used that as more drive and motivation to succeed. And her success inspired so many. Her childhood village in Japan started the Gorman Cup 10K in her honor. She has her own children's book and even a trading card. She passed away in 2015 at 80 years old. I wish my mom was alive right now to experience this movement and the conversation that's being elevated. One that focuses on equality and lifting everyone up. Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. Wow, what a great attitude. Love that profile. Incredible, right? <laughs> Such small stature, but huge spirit, huge heart. Unstoppable. And talk about endurance, right? Right.